AJ here is their naturalist. She can tell you all the facts. <laughs> you know. uh, well, yeah, because bears in captivity are going to live a lot longer than wild bears. 15, 20, that's getting up there for a while there. But uh, we have a bear here who's 30 years old. And she's in pretty good health and still kicking. So, Cobook and Makina, if you want anyone to test a bear resistant container, it's Cobook and Makina. They're the, they're the Why best. Is that? They're the best. <laughs> um, Cobook is really persistent and he's very creative at working on latches, hinges, using different methods to try to get into containers. Uh, the Living with Wildlife Foundation has nicknamed him Kobuk the Destroyer because of his ability to get into these things. Used for bait. I don't know what we're going to use today. Probably Tip fish, peanut butter. Typically fish, peanut butter, maybe kibble. Yeah. Dog kibble. Yeah, if it only lasts a couple minutes, now that she's out, there's no reason to feel bad about that because I've seen you know people who do this for a living. Containers. Yeah, I think people who do this for a living who these containers don't last a very long time. Well, normally the standard is they have to be, uh, in order for it to pass, it's 60 minutes of bare contact time. Hey, Gardner, will it hold up? Yes. Yeah. Will it hold up? It will hold up. No. Will it hold up? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then this was made to be simple up here, just two clips like that, and then it opens up. And hopefully the bear can't break care of me. It's gonna work? It's fine. Good luck. Game on. Well, that's a good one. Yeah. We'll start my time. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on, don't leave you on a destroyer. One day.
Oh my God. <laughs>
How old is he? 16.